So when starting this video, I wasn't thinking I was going to do a talk through. While thinking about it while applying the first few products, I've realized that maybe for a video like this, I should be doing a talk through. So let me just go over real quick what I did. Um, I just took Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, put it as my eyeshadow base, and as always, I took my Jane Cosmetics in natural eyeshadow and put it as my transition shade. I did fill in my eyebrows, um, but I want to know if you guys want an updated foundation routine and eyebrow routine, and if you would, please leave that in the comments down below or thumbs up this video, and I will know that you want to see it, and I will make sure to um, put a video in more depth up for that. So when meeting his parents, or her parents, whatever way you go, um, I feel like people always say, like, go really, really natural, go da 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 but the truth is, be yourself still. Don't go crazy, don't do, like, this giant wing and a dark, black, smoky eye and bright lips and, you know, where you can see the line of your cake face. Like, don't go overboard, but still be yourself, still show through. Don't just you know, put some mascara on and then the next time they see you or the next few times they see you, they realize you look nothing like they thought you did the first time they met you. Sorry, my dog just fell. Um, so just remember, be yourself, but don't um, go overboard and don't maybe how do you say don't go don't play it too easy because I feel like then the next time they see you and then you decide you want to look more like yourself they're gonna be like ah. so I'm gonna deepen my eyes a little bit and I'm going to take To deepen my crease, I'm going to take handwritten and mix it with Swiss chocolate and put a little bit of corduroy. Like so. Going in with a little bit of satin taupe, I'm going to bring that right at the back half of my eye, so probably the outer half. And then buff that in the crease as well.
Just to add something like a little bit fun, I'm going to take the Sephora eyeshadow um, in orange. It's just like a bit of a coppery color, and I'm gonna put it right in my on my eyelid, right in the middle. Now, in my personal opinion, I think maybe doing a liquid wing would not be the way to go. Um, a wing can look a little bit harsh, maybe a little bit too edgy. Um, I don't know, just in my opinion, I don't think that'd be the way to go. So what I'm going to do is take a black eyeshadow and just run it along my lower la my upper lash line. Now. You can use a brown. I think I'm going to go with a black just to define it a little bit more. But just keep in mind, you could go with a brown. You could just not line at all. But for somebody like me who wears makeup so often, I'd look kind of weird if I like didn't put anything on my upper lash line. So I'm just going to take a bit of Crave by um, Urban Decay and I'm going to line my upper lash line. Push it really deep right into your lash line. and highlight my brow bone. Like so. So then just curl your eyelashes and put on some mascara. I would recommend probably not doing false lashes unless that's something you do every day. And if you do that every day and you feel most comfortable with that, you do that. Like, I feel like when you're meeting his parents, you have to be as honest and as straightforward as you can be. Don't try to sugarcoat things and don't try to um, look something, look a way different than you usually look because that's just being fake and they should know how you really are and know why their son or their daughter loves you or likes you the way that they do so be yourself so just curl your lashes and apply mascara and I'll be right back all right so I have curled my eyelashes I have applied my mascara and now I'm gonna go on to Z face um I mean you can do really whatever you want for your face whether you prefer having um, really flawless and full coverage or you just want a little bit of coverage, a little bit of concealer, a little bit of um, like BB cream, tinted moisturizer, something like that. Um, so when I met my boyfriend's parents for the first time, I don't think I really thought about how I was doing my face in reality, I just wanted to look nice. So I think I went for like my full coverage um, foundation, I believe. Um, but first, I know I always moisturize under my eyes. Ain't nobody want to look like a granny with them granny um, wrinkles. So I'm going to moisturize. 
And this is just the Garnier um, Anti-Puff Eye Roller. And just tap it in like so. So first, you know, as usual, I'm going to prime my face using my Maybelline Age Rewind. And before I started my makeup, I applied my moisturizer. And um, you should apply your moisturizer um, before you apply your makeup always and then you can wait probably no more than about 30 to 45 minutes before applying your foundation after your moisturizer. So instead of having to do a full face, I think I'm just going to go in with my two um, erase pastes um, by Benefit. First, I'm going to go in with my under eye color, which is um, Fair One. Yeah. And then the my face one, which is Medium Two. And I'm just going to go in with the um, Real Technique Crease Brush, which I just use for concealer. And I'll first go in with the Under Eye Shade. And this is a really thick formula. So what I'm going to do is let it sit on my face so that my the heat from my skin can melt it a little bit. And I just did all of the high points of my face. Then with the other shade, I will do the redness around my nose and whatever little spot concealing I need to do. And this concealer does an amazing job. It is definitely one of my favorites that I have been neglecting for a while. And then I'm going to go in with my fingers and start tapping. Once it has evenly been distributed, I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and blend it out. And as you see, it just really, it really does a great job. I, I have to give benefit props for these erase pastes because it is an amazing product, really. And then I'm just going to highlight a little bit underneath my eyes with this.
Please excuse my dogs barking like crazies. Apologize. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit and the color Java and then the color right next to Java and contour my face a little bit. I don't need a harsh contour, I just want something to just warm up my skin and give it a little bit more dimension. And so with that being said, you can just get a um, fluffy brush and blend it out. And I'm just going to go in with a blush. Blush, blush, blush. I think I will be using the e.l.f. blush in Mellow Moth with a Sonia Kashuk stippling brush. They are crazy pigmented, so just be careful. A little bit goes a long way. And I don't think I'm going to add any highlighter because it does have a little bit of highlighting properties in this particular blush and so really that's pretty much it like you don't you don't want to go too minimal you don't want to do to go too crazy so this is just the look that I go for it's just you know very light and flirty you know a little bit of color on the cheeks and um you know light eyes just a little bit of you know coloring and then my eyebrows and that's pretty much it I really hope this was helpful and um keep in mind don't be too nervous while meeting his parents um Try not to be too crazy, try not to talk too much, um, answer their questions, be polite, yes sir, yes ma'am, and um, good luck and have fun, and I hope this video helped. Please leave me a comment, and please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.